my friends, and welcome to the last Word Problem Wednesday of third grade. Can you believe we've made it to the last week? It's crazy. Well, this week we are working on measuring capacity and measuring liquids. So that is what we're going to be talking about today. But first I want to review what capacity and volume mean. Capacity is the amount something can hold inside of it. So the amount of something that you're measuring, um, where volume means the amount of space something takes up, how much stuff there is. So the words kind of mean the same thing. Um, so I'm going to use both words during today's um, little video. But yeah, capacity and volume both mean how much liquids, how much stuff there actually is. So in order to start this today, we are going to watch a little video talking about how different ways and sizes to measure liquids. And now, back to a cup full of dynamite. I challenge you, Sheriff, to a fill-off. If an I win, I run Kappa City. <laughs> You're no match for the three-gallon gang. Fill her up! I might not be a match on my own, Pecosville. Being but one gallon. But have you met my eight deputy pints? <laughs> Those eight pints make another gallon, but you're still one gallon short. That's where my cup cousins come in. Cup cousins, come out and feel. Well, I'll be a leaky faucet. You have 16 cup cousins. That's another gallon, all right? Three gallons? It's a draw. It's a draw. Quite, Pecosville. Sorry I'm late, Dad. No! You win by a cup. <laughs> One day, you will be the city sheriff's son. But I'm only a cup. Don't worry. I was once a cup, too. Just like you. But a cup grows up. Before we burst into song here, I just kind of want to review and explain what was happening. So it was three gallons versus one, but then they had eight pints join in. And eight pints equals a gallon. It's the same amount. And then they also got 16 cups to join. And 16 cups makes another gallon. So even though they're smaller sizes, there's more of them, they add up to a gallon and another gallon. So we had three gallons versus three gallons. So that's kind of what was happening in that little Western battle. But now it's time to, for a song. Come on. 
I want to back up real quick to there was an image that was just really, really great right here. And so this is really going to help us out um, when we're talking about capacity today. The four sizes we're going to be talking about are cups, pints, quarts, and gallons. So as you can see here, cups are the smallest, pints are a little bit bigger, quarts are even bigger, and then a gallon is the biggest. So we two cups are the same as one pint, two pints are the same as one quart, and then four quarts make a gallon. So that is some of the equal measurements here. So I hope you enjoyed that little song. And now we're getting into our lesson. So as you know, a cup is equal to eight ounces. And that's about the size of a teacup or a small kind of mug. So you might be familiar with cups when you're measuring things for baking and stuff like that. And you can see on a measuring cup, usually next to where it says one cup, it also says eight ounces or eight OZ to show that they are equal. A pint, like we said, is the next size. One pint equals two cups or 16 ounces also. And that's about the size of a small carton of milk like you guys would get at lunchtime at the cafeteria. So a pint is two cups. A quart is two pints or four cups. And that's about the size of a taller milk carton. Or if you can also think about the size of a Clorox wipe container, that's also about the size of a quart. So one quart is equal to two pints or four cups. And then our biggest one is a gallon. Um, if you think about a gallon of milk or juice in your refrigerator, it'll say one gallon on there. And one gallon is the same as four quarts or eight pints or 16 cups like we saw in the video. And like I said, that's about a pitcher or a jug of milk. So like we said, a gallon is four quarts, eight pints or 16 cups. A quart is two pints or four cups. A pint is two cups and a cup is eight ounces. So to review, how many cups, did, or excuse me, how many ounces did I say are in a cup? The answer is eight, eight ounces. How many cups were there in a pint? The answer was two, two cups in a pint. How many cups were in a quart? So if we said two cups are in a pint and two pints are in a quart, that means that there are four cups in a quart. And then how many quarts are in a gallon? Quart, if you think of quarter, how many quarters make a dollar? That is four. Nice job. So if you're measuring things like flour or sugar for baking, you would use measuring cups. You pour juice in a cup. So we would measure cups to measure things like this and small bowls and things. For a taller 
thing of milk like you would get in a cafeteria or if you donate blood when you're older that is measured in pints you would say you met you donated a pint cleaning supplies or tall containers of milk those are quarts and then bigger amounts like contain containers of paint or jugs or gasoline you get in your car or even water in a pool, you would measure all of that in gallons. So story time, what would you use to measure flour if you were baking something? Would you measure with a cup, a pint, a quart or a gallon for flour? You would want to use cups. If I was painting something, what would I want to use to measure out how much paint is in there? I would say that container is about a gallon of paint. How much is a container of cleaning supplies or a Clorox wipe? Those were about the size of a quart. And if I donated blood, I would say I donated a pint of blood. Story time. Laura was making chocolate chip cookies. Yum. The recipe calls for four cups of flour, one cup of sugar, one cup of shortening, and one cup of chocolate chips and a small amount of seasoning. How many cups of batter will this recipe make? So I want to double check are all of my numbers measured in cups? I have four cups, one cup, one cup, one cup. So since they're all cups, all I have to do is just add them together. Four plus one plus one plus one. What does that add up to be? That adds up to be seven. So my answer is seven cups of batter. Now, if she wanted to make the three batches of chocolate chip cookies, make the recipe three times, one recipe calls for four cups of flour. So how much flour will she need for three batches? So let's go through that one more time. It says we need it th three times the recipe and it needs four cups of flour. So if I need four cups three times, how many cups of flour would that be? The correct answer is 12, 12 cups of flour to make that recipe three times. That's a lot of flour. Now, like we talked about last week, we use rulers, inches, and feet in the United States to measure, um, just like we use cups and pints and quarts. But if you go to other places in the world, they measure things a little bit differently. They use meters, um, and we don't use meters as much. So when they measure liquids, they have some different sizes also. So a liter me is what means in Greek to measure capacity or how much something can hold. So the word liter means capacity. So the tiniest unit of measurement is a milliliter. If you think about millimeters, we're super duper small lines on a ruler millimeter or excuse me milliliters are also very small a milliliter is only about 10 drops of liquid that's so so little so milliliter teeny amount only about 10 drops a they also have a cup that's about the same size as ours a metric cup is about a small cup a liter is about half of a large pop bottle. If you think about if you have a birthday party or something, those giant jugs of soda, those are about, they call those two liters. There's two liters of, of soda inside of that bottle. 
So a liter would only be about half of that because we call the bottle a two liter. A liter is also about the size of a tall water bottle. So some of the water bottles you guys had at school, um, those were a liter. And then we have kiloliters. If you remember a kilometer, kilo means, a hundred, excuse me, it means a thousand. So a kiloliter is a thousand liters. And that is about the size of 10 bathtubs. All of the water in there would be about a kiloliter. That's a lot. So like we said, a kiloliter is about a thousand liters. A liter is about a small quart or a water bottle size. They have a cup that's about the same size as ours. And then milliliters are just about 10 drops. And so you might see, especially liters and milliliters, you might see these labels on the bottoms of different juice bottles and things like that. So it might say 1L or 2L on those big um, party-sized jugs of soda um, to tell you how much is in there. Or it might say there's a couple milliliters in a container if it's a smaller amount. So if you're taking medicine for something, would you measure it in milliliters, liters, cups, or kiloliters? If it's just a small amount, you should be using milliliters. Milliliters are small. If you're drinking something or measuring something for baking, you would just want to use cups. If it was something a little bit bigger, like a jug or gas in your car, things like that, we would want, we think of using gallons, but remember this is the metric way they would use liters. And then for a lot of liquid, like a swimming pool or a um, water tank, you would want to use kiloliters, thousands and thousands of liters. So last story to finish off judy was helping her mother make punch for the school party she had to make at least 20 liters for both third grade classes one recipe makes five liters of punch how many times did she have to repeat the recipe so if one recipe makes five liters and we need to get to 20 how many times do we need to make this recipe? So we can either do five times what equals 20 or 20 divided by five, and that would get us our answer four. We would need to make it four times because if I count by five four times, that would get me to 20 liters. Oh, one more. Each recipe calls for three liters of soda. If Judy repeats the recipe four times, how many liters of soda did she need to buy at the store? So let's read that one more time. Each recipe calls for three liters and she makes the same recipe four times. How many liters of soda does she have to buy at the store? So we need to do four times three, and that would equal 12. 12 liters, but wait, there's more. If one bottle holds two liters and we need 12 liters, how many bottles do we need? So if we need 12 liters, but each bottle has two in it, how many bottles do I need? So I can count by two until I get to 12, or I can do 12 divided by two, and that gets me the answer six, six bottles. 
Very good job, my friends. Um, once again, this week, I have a few practice slides for you to do. Um, you can do a couple of them today and finish the rest this week or get them all done today. It's up to you as long as it's done by the end of the week. I am so, so proud of you guys. Great job working hard from home. I'm so proud of you and I hope you have a great time learning.